So did you folks get to see some telescopes tonight? Oh, yeah. wow, that would be great. All right. Well, what did you notice about the, how the telescopes are, are constructed? What kind of parts do they have? There's the tube of the telescopes and the okay. lens. Okay. And the, the mount, the legs. Oh, all and right. The tripod, I guess. Lots of different parts to telescopes. Good. Okay. Well, to get down to basics, telescopes are made with mirrors and lenses. Okay. Let's take a look at this one. Do you see a lens there in the end of that one? Yep. All right. Now, how about this one? Take a look down there. You see yourself down there? Yeah. All right. You got a mirror that you're looking back at you, huh? Good. So this one's made with mirrors, and this one's made, this is made with a mirror, and this one's made with lenses. Any ideas about how telescopes work? What do they do for you? Um, they help magnify the sky so you can look at it better. All right. Make things bigger. Good. So you can see all that pretty stuff out there, huh? Right. All right. Well, let's see how they work. Well, let's take a look at these two lenses. Would you mind holding this up sure. like that? Good. Now, do these two lenses magnify the same? Seems that, that one's bigger. That one's bigger? Okay, do you agree? Yes, I do. Okay, I mean, good. Definitely... So this one's bigger. We'll use this one as our magnifying lens. Let's, uh, let's take a look at these two lenses. Are these significantly different, or are they about the same? Um, they're about the same. Right. The same. This one's just what? What's the difference between them, though? Uh, larger. Yeah. This one's just bigger larger, bigger right? It's bigger diameter, but they magnify about the same, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to use these as our light-gathering lenses. But what do we mean by light gatherers? You might notice, you want to take this and feel that? You might notice that the, that the lenses are curved. Okay, fatter in the middle, thinner on the edge. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, if you, would you hold that right there for a second? Now, imagine that we have a clear, flat piece of glass between us, like a window. All right. And this represents the light coming through that window. We have a piece of glass right here. The light reflecting off my face goes straight through that glass with little or no change in direction. Can you see me fairly yeah, sure. clearly? Sure. Now, these pieces of glass, though, are curved, so they change the direction of light coming through them. Now, can you see me clearly in this lens? No. <laughs> no, not very well. Not very well, right? Okay. Well, these light-gathering lenses concentrate light into a small area by changing the direction of the light. All right, let's see what that means. All right, let's get this screen here. We have a moon over here on a flashlight. Can you see that there are a couple of fuzzy patches here? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Try to get those into focus by moving these back and forth. All right. Nice. Okay. So the light uh, coming through each lens is bent and concentrated over here, right? Can you see a difference in the brightness between these two images? Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. which, which one's brighter? Uh, that one. Yeah, that this one, one definitely looks brighter. All right. Now, the light coming from the moon is spread out all over this area. The large lens is taking all this light that's hitting it and concentrating it like this. Whereas the smaller lens is taking less light that's hitting it. So it's dimmer. Not as much light is being gathered. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, how much light does your eye gather? How big is that pupil? Pretty small. Tiny. Yeah, tiny. So can you see anything when you first walk into a dark room after being outside in the sunlight? Mm -hmm. no. Not very well. <laughs> Not very well, right. Well, what happens to the pupils of your eyes in the dark? Um, they usually get bigger. Right. And does that help you see better in that dark room? Yeah. Yes, yeah. for sure. All right. Well, your, your eye is collecting more of what little light is in that dark room. And using a lens is like making your eyes this big. Wow. Yeah. So 
um, could you see more in that dark room at not or at night with eyes this big? Yeah, sure. definitely. Right. So telescopes gather light similar to the way your eyes gather light. As the opening gets larger, you can see dimmer objects more easily. Now, let's adjust the angle of the meter stick so that that image is right over the stick. You see that? Mm -hmm. Okay. You want to try and adjust that one a little bit too? We might have to move that out of the way to get that one in over there. Yeah, that looks good. All right. Now you see the image here on the screen, so let's take our magnifier and see if we can make that image larger so we can see it more easily. You might have to focus this in and out. You want to take a look? Can you make it larger? Yeah. Yeah, I see it. Okay. You want to take a look? Sure. Oh yeah, it looks a lot larger. All right. Well, telescopes don't have screens in them, right? So let's take the screen away and now look through the magnifier, which is called the eyepiece because that's what we look through with our eye. What do you see now? Oh, uh, I see the moon. All right. Is it big and bright? Uh, yeah. You want to take a look too? Sure. Oh yeah, definitely. Great. Now, is that little image that we made with this lens still in there, still in hovering in space? Yeah. Let's take a look. Can we find that here? Do you see it on my finger there? Yeah. All right. So that's, that's the little focused image from that lens. So that the image that the magnifier is magnifying is this little image right here. Now, imagine placing a tube around this, and what do you have? A telescope. A telescope. Yeah. All right. Well, that's basically how Galileo's telescope worked using a lens to gather and concentrate the light into an image in this little area right here, then using a magnifier to make this image bigger so we can see the image more easily. Amazing. This is, yeah, this is 400-year-old technology that we still use today. Hey, I can make that. Yeah, you could. Most astronomers use mirrors in their telescopes for gathering light instead of lenses. Now here's a mirror. Do you notice that it's curved? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Concave. Yeah. yeah. Now, if we have a flat mirror, the imagine that this is a flat mirror, light coming in hits the mirror and is reflected straight back out. But with a curved mirror, the light hitting the mirror is curved and bent and concentrated once again, like this. Let's put this mirror over here. Now remember that the light is coming in on this side and reflecting back out. So where are we going to look for that little concentrated image? In front or in back of the mirror? I'd say in the front. <laughs> That's right, in front of the mirror, of course. Very good. Now, let's see if we can find that image. If we place the screen here in front of it, can any of the light from the moon get through and hit the mirror? No, no it's blocked. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, so let's move it over to the side a little bit. Oh, I can, see can you see it now? Yeah. There it is. There's that image. Now, let's see if, if we can go ahead and bring that image into a focus. Yeah. Is that better? No, I think right about there. there. Okay. Yeah. Gorgeous. All right. Now, once again, let's adjust the angle so it's right over the meter stick like that. Now, let's take this lens again, the magnifier lens, and try and magnify that image like we did before. Whoops. <laughs> Your head's in the way. <laughs> head's in the way. So, we're going to have to take this image and move it one way or another, to one side or the other, right? Now, we have a little mirror here. You see that little mirror? Yeah. Do you think if we take this little mirror, we might be able to reflect that image off to the side? I think so. Let's try. All right. So, let's put that here. And let's get that image right where it's going to hit that mirror take this out of the way. Now, 
move over here and see if you can see that image reflected in the mirror. Yeah. You see it there? Yeah, right. Very oh. good. Right, now just keep looking at it and use this little magnifier. You'll have to hold it right about here and see if you can focus that little image. You'll probably have to get a little closer than that. Move, move the lens closer to the mirror. Got it? Yeah. Good. Imagine a tube coming out here mm -hmm. and another little tube coming out here with your little magnifier on it out there. And you have a Newtonian telescope, a basic reflector telescope that reflects light off the mirror, concentrates it into a little image here, and out the side. So this is like this kind of telescope called a Newtonian telescope. It's called a Newtonian telescope because Isaac Newton designed the basics of this type of telescope over 300 years ago. And the design idea was so elegant and so effective that it's not changed very much in all that time. The Hubble Space Telescope uses this basic technology, using a mirror to gather and concentrate the light. Cool. Good. Now, here are some of the things that Galileo saw in his telescope. And you can use this to record what you see tonight through these instruments of glass and mirrors whose origins go back 400 years. Cool, thanks.